Hey everyone, it's Lady Kaka 101, and today I just got back from shopping at Once Upon a Child, and they had so many cool dolls, so I'm just going to show you some of the things I found. Alright, here's the super amazing stuff I found at Once Upon a Child, so let's start from the top. So here we got a Disney Store singing Ariel doll. She's 17 inches. She's the older one, as you can see, because she has the older face. I believe like around 2010 or so. She's really pretty. Tail is a little bit worn down, but I don't mind. She'll make it a wonderful addition to my Ariel collection, and she still sings. Up where they walk, up where they run, up where they stay all day in the sun, wandering free. Wish I could be part of that world. I love how long her hair is, too. She's going to be really fun to make over. Next, we have a Pocahontas doll. She really stood out to me because I only have one Pocahontas doll. And Pocahontas dolls are kind of hard to come by. The only ones you really find are like ones from the Disney store. They only just recently started making some like by Hasbro. But like before the Hasbro ones, you don't really see Pocahontas dolls so often. And I thought this one was really pretty. I'm not sure what company made her. She looks different from the Mattel ones from the 90s. I think she's probably like a Disney store one before they changed the faces. But yeah, she's really pretty and I like her outfit. So that's her. Oh yeah, and Ariel was $7.50 and Pocahontas was $4.50 by the way. The next two I'm really excited about. I got Bratz the movie Sasha and she's super pretty. She even has her earrings and shoes and also Chloe. They're sold separately but I got both of them obviously. They're both $4.50. They're in great condition. Chloe has one of her earrings and the other one like the dangly part fell off. Oh wait, no it's still there, never mind. And she has her shoes still. They're in pretty good condition, obviously. The hair needs some fixing up. And I already have Yasmin and Jade, so now I have all four of the girls, so that's great. And they're both 450, like I said. And here's first edition Jade in her second outfit, which is awesome. And she was also 450. She's in really good condition, too. I'm surprised. All these dolls have their original outfits and everything. That's great. Next, we have my scene, Unforgettable Kennedy. And she is so stunning. Original outfit and all, and her hair is like not cut at all. It's perfect. She's stunning. I've been wanting to get more Mycene dolls for a while now because I only have four, and two of the four have cut hair. And yeah, I just love Mycene dolls. So that's Kennedy. And the Mycene doll was $4.50, by the way. Next, I got this first wave Jackie Laura. I already have one, as you guys probably know, but. Um, Jackie Laura is my ghoul and I couldn't pass up on her. I just really wanted a second one for some reason. Her legs are extremely wobbly though, so that's kind of irritating, but it's fine. I'm glad to have another one. She's cute. And then next is Ghoul's Rule Frankie. She's so cute. Again, in her original outfit. She just needs to have a little hair makeover. She came with a stand too, but it's a boy stand, which was kind of funny. But it's also good because I have a lot of girl stands but not a lot of boy stands, so that's great. Then Frankie was $8.50 as well. And last but not least, for $10, I found the Coffin Bean playset, which came with a little bag of accessories to go with it. I was so excited. I've been wanting to set for a while. So, um, yeah, that is my finds today. I'm really happy with them, and I can't wait to clean them up and make them look beautiful again. Tell me which one is your favorite down in the comments. And until next time, comment, re-subscribe, and see you in the next video. Bye, guys.